Hi everyone, I'm Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com and today we're going to be going over four people you need to hire in order to build an ideal data team. Before we jump into the specific positions that you need to hire for your data team, we need to ask ourselves a specific question. And that question is, what criteria does my data team need to fulfill? The reason we ask this question is so that we have a way to measure the success of our team, as well as ensure that both customers and the organization uses the analytic solutions that the team comes up with. The criteria that we use to measure our data team is the following. One, data needs to be unified. This means that data needs to be brought together from different sources and loaded into a single place that our engineers and our analysts can work with. Two, data needs to be accurate. If data isn't accurate, then no one's going to trust any of the solutions that your team comes up with. So when data is loaded and transformed, we need to make sure that everything is done accurately and precisely. Three, data needs to be fresh. If your data isn't up to date and it's months, quarters, or years behind, then people aren't going to be interested in the analysis that you provide. That's why we need to make sure that it's as fresh as possible, whether that means hourly or even a little more frequently. And fourth, Data needs to be easily accessible. That means that both your analysts need to be able to access the correct data sources in order to do their analysis, and then the business also needs to have access to the solutions that your teams provides so that they can ask questions that maybe aren't explicitly answered with the dashboards that you build. Any ad hoc querying tools are critical to have for the business so that they can get answers they need without having to hound your team. Now let's jump in to the roles that we need to hire for our data team. The first person that you need to hire for your data team is the software developer. Now, for some people this might be surprising because the software developer usually isn't considered part of the data team at all. But in reality, the software developer is the one who brings all the data into your systems in the first place. And if that's done incorrectly or incompletely, you're going to be having a lot of issues down the line and your data engineer and data analyst won't be able to produce any useful results. So the software developer is a very critical part of the team. I like to call them the integrator because they can bring all of your tools together. They can check all the APIs. They can make data start flowing from tools that maybe you thought you couldn't collect from in the first place. So they are your first hire for your data team and one of the most important parts. Now the second role that we need to hire for is the data engineer. I know I said that the software developer is one of the most important parts of the team, but in reality, each and every role is just as important in achieving success on your data projects. Now, the data engineer I like to call the master composer. And the reason for this is because there's a ton of moving parts that they need to make a symphony out of. They bring together data from all the sources that the software developer configured, and they make sure that they're loaded and transformed in a way that the data analyst can consume. The data engineer needs to set up a pipeline that allows data to be fresh and allows data to be structured in a way that the data analyst doesn't have to spend a lot of time creating complex data models in the tool that they're building analysis in. The last thing that we want is for a data analyst to be compensating for issues that are happening earlier on in the pipeline. We want to allow them to be working with the business and with their analysis tool in order to be building useful insights for customers and the organization. Now the third person that we need to hire for is something you probably could have already guessed because I mentioned it while I was talking about the data engineer, and that is the data analyst. The data analyst is a translator and an artist. They need to create compelling and engaging dashboards or visualizations or whatever they're doing so that the business or the customer is engaged with the analytics that they're using. It needs to be easy to use. It needs to be easy to extract insights out of. And they're also a translator. They're a translator because the business or the customer will say that they need to see or understand a certain data point. And what they need to do is take this business requirement and understand exactly what that means from a data structure standpoint. So they need to go back to their schemas. They need to go back to the data engineer and figure out exactly where they need to look and the calculations that they need to make in order to get those answers to the business or to the customer. And last but not least, the fourth person that we need to have on our data team is the product owner. Now, the product owner brings together the entire picture. They're the facilitator from the technical side to the business side. They see the entire process 
from the outside. They're able to understand the technical side and requirements for the data engineer and for the software developer. And they're able to work with the business and the data analyst to make sure that the entire project from start to finish is exactly what the vision was at the beginning of the project. Now, things change throughout projects. So this product owner needs to be adaptable to what the business wants and to what the engineers are seeing. They're the ultimate facilitator. They're the go-between between the software developer that most likely is never talking to the end user. Without a good product owner, the entire thing falls apart. You need to make sure that your product owner is a go-getter that understands both the technical and the business side of things. With a great product owner, you can make a great product. So make sure to focus a lot on the quality of your hire and placement for this position. So now that I've walked you through the four different roles that you need to hire for your data team, we're gonna see exactly how these different roles interact in a project and what they're responsible for. I've made a diagram that I'm gonna walk you through so that we can look into the details of this. Now, I've added in some optional roles that we'll go over at the end of the presentation, and you can see one right here actually. The product owner and the systems architect are this big white dotted circle around the outside of the diagram that we're gonna be building. They're responsible for vision, for planning, and for execution of your analytics projects. The next component that we're gonna add is software developers. I've blown this up into a really big oval here just so that you can see the text inside, but it'll shrink into the context of the diagram once we move on from it. This software developer is the one that sets up the data collection for use in analytics. It will go inside the dotted circle because the software developers are going to be overseen by the product owners and the system architect. Now you can see that we move the software developer inside of our big white dotted circle. So let's move on to the next component. The next oval we're adding to our diagram is called the business. Now, the business wasn't one of the roles that we mentioned on our data team because they're actually who the data team will be working with. They're the owners of the overall objective of the analytic solution. They provide the ultimate vision that you need to interpret and deliver the product to. So we'll shrink that oval into its respective spot inside of the white dotted circle. Now, the next part that we're gonna add to this diagram is the data analysts and the data engineers. They go together in the same circle because they should be working side by side with each other. They bridge the technical and communication gap between the business and the developers. So if we bring up the entire diagram at once, we see we have the white dotted circle for the product owner. They encompass all the different components of the system. At the top, we have the software developers. They're developing all the data that's flowing into our systems so that we can analyze it. We have the data analysts and data engineers that overlap with the software developers because they should be interacting with those software developers and understanding the technical components of what they will be building. They also overlap with the bottom part of the business. And that's because the data analysts should be in meetings with the business, understanding exactly what their requirements are. The data engineers usually won't be as involved, but they'll still need context from the business to understand exactly where data should be coming from and how they should be transforming it for analysis. Now, I like to reiterate, the product owner and the systems architect is on the outside of all these other components, and they should be both overseeing all of those working components as well as helping them interact with each other. If you have everything working together, according to this diagram, you're gonna be running successful analytics projects. Let's say you have all those team members working together successfully and they're interacting exactly like the diagram that we pictured. What are some other team members that you could add on in order to make your data team even more powerful or more versatile in the type of projects that they can take on? These are some of the options that you have. The first is the data scientist and optionally a machine learning or an artificial intelligence specialty. The data scientist can go deeper into the weeds than the data analyst when it comes to complex analysis. The data scientist is often confused with the data analyst, but in reality, it's a different role. It goes deeper into the weeds and deeper into the statistics than the analyst typically goes. When you need a specialist who's going to dive into things like machine learning, artificial intelligence, or statistics, you need to go with an expert, and that's when the data scientist is the right hire. Lastly is the systems architect. 
The system's architect was already mentioned in our diagram as sitting next to the product owner on the outside of that dotted circle. Now the system's architect is a very technical person who can see how different systems and different system components interact. They'll be able to set up your data projects so that they're both resilient and scalable. They'll be able to work in the weeds with the engineers, the data engineers, the data analysts, and the developers when needed. They can provide the exact technical guidance that you need in order to bring a project across the finish line. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com. I hope that you now know the components you need in order to build a successful data team for your company. Thanks for watching.